Hey guys, welcome to Random Encounter, the video game culture show that went completely broke because of the Steam sale. Seriously, I was like a drug addict on a bender. I blacked out and when I woke up, I had bought like $200 worth of video games. I got a few indie bundles, I got the Magicka collection, I got Just Cause 2, I got Hitman Blood Money, I got a ton of stuff. What did you guys get? Let me know down below. Also, you know, let me know if you got any good Flash deals, because I feel like I'm always missing out on the good Flash and community deals. Which is strange, because I'm obsessively refreshing on the Steam app on my phone, like an idiot. There are not enough hard drives in the universe for all these games that I'm buying. Moron. Do you guys remember the brief history of video games video that Polygon ran? It was made by some guys called The Engineers. Uh, they are back with one called The History of PC Games, and this is awesome. It's kind of like a pogo-ish mashup of sounds from different video games throughout PC history to make one amazing song and timeline. <laughs> It's cool not just to listen to and to enjoy, but it's also cool to watch the timeline and see how many of your favorite games you can pick out of there. And there's some surprises in there. There's one game called Alley Cat that pops up for like a flash frame that I was obsessed with when I was eight years old. And no one else I thought had ever heard of. Nobody I asked has heard of this game. So there's a new Mars rover, Curiosity, that's landing on Mars. And so to get the word out and to educate people, NASA did exactly what you would expect them to do. They made a shitty Kinect game. The Mars landing game is free on Xbox Live Arcade, and it has multiple levels wherein you have to get the rocket into Martian orbit, you have to use the skyhook to land the rover. It looks so, so silly and dumb, and yet, just by existing, it's in the running for being the best Kinect game ever. Am I right? Check it out, this thing is free. Let me know if you play it. My Kinect is under a fine layer of dust right now, so I might as well. There's a YouTube page called Die Storm, and on this page you will find two guys, Max and Sam, and they have started an amazing project recently. It's Geekapella, where they are taking amazing geek songs and doing them as a cappella arrangements. They did an amazing one of Shinra a couple weeks ago, but this week, this week, they went all out. I'm gonna have nightmares about that Pikachu with the human mouth though, am I right? <laughs> it's a great video, go check out their page. They're, they're incredibly talented and I can't wait to see what else they do in the future. Hey guys, what do you think Mega Man smells like? Asking for a friend. No, there's a company called Epic Sense that is doing a line of air fresheners based on video game characters and their first one is a Mega Man and a Proto Man. And the Mega Man scent is called Cool Rush, and apparently they interviewed all of these video game fans and they were like, give us the adjectives that describe Mega Man. And people were like, purity. And they're like, okay, well for purity, we'll add in a little bit of fresh citrus. Oh, masculinity. Oh, okay, well we'll put a, put a little bit of musk in that. Until they finally wound up with something that is supposed to be the most accurate smelling representation of Mega Man that's ever been hung off of a car rear view mirror. They were talking to Polygon about this whole thing, and of course, Polygon took it a little lightly because it's silly. It's a silly, stupid thing, right? It's just a dumb licensed product. But Geeko System took it very seriously, saying that it was kind of just like an affront to Mega Man fans. They were just, you can't just throw some scents in, some standard perfumer scents. Just because purity means orange to you doesn't, it, doesn't mean it means citrus to Mega Man fans and you've gotta be a real fan. This is the worst thing that's ever happened. I'm gonna punch them if I ever see them in person. It's, that's, they didn't say that, but that was the tone I read. And it's just like, guys, it's just an excuse to hang a picture of Mega Man off your rear view mirror. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I've seen worse licensed video game products. I have pre-ordered video games specifically to get worse licensed products than these air fresheners. I'm sure you guys have had some bad ones. What, which ones have you guys gotten? Because I've gotten some terrible ones. I got a Fatal Fury trucker hat that was supposed to be like Terry Bogard's, but it was made to fit the Elephant Man. It was huge. It was like this big around. It was weird. And when you put it on, it made it look like her forehead was like eight feet tall. I've, I've gotten some terrible licensed video game 
these air fresheners are nothing. I don't know. Let me know what you think down below. Also, let me know if you've found any other weird, interesting, cool video game related stuff. Hit me up in the comments or on Twitter at ACarboni or over email, contact at anthonycarboni.com and I will put the greatest ones into the video and then I will do less work that day and take a much longer lunch break. I did not, I was not supposed to say that part out loud, but that's basically how you give me things and then I call into work because my job is done.